is a daily English news program in Azerbaijan television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Elif Sengi. As we have already reported, on February 13th, President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mirban Aliyeva visited Akhdam and Akhjabadi regions. President Ilham Aliyeva and First Lady Mirban Aliyeva arrived in Akhdam region. The head of state and the first lady took part in the opening of the Akhdam 1 and Akhdam 2 110 35 10 kW electrical substations of the Azer Energy Open Stock Company and the Digital Control Center of the Karabakh Regional Electric Grid. Then President Ilham Aliyev led the foundation of the enterprise for the production of lighting poles and other installations powered by alternative and renewable energy sources, comfort weaving enterprise that will operate in the Ardham Industrial Park, the Park Forest Hotel Ardham and a new residential complex for 209 apartments. Furthermore, the head of state and first lady got acquainted with the progress of restoration and reconstruction work in the Ardham Juma Mosque carried out by the Heydar Ali Foundation. Delivering a speech after getting acquainted with the work done, the head of state in particular said that the adoption of comprehensive measures to restore the Akhdam region would allow Akhdam to be rebuilt in a short time. The first enterprises of the Akhdam Industrial Park, which will be created on an area of 190 hectares, are already taking the first steps in this direction, said President Ilham Aliyev, expressing confidence that dozens of enterprises will start operating in this industrial park in the near future. The head of state also called on Azerbaijani businessmen to invest in Agdam and all other liberated territories, touched upon the conditions created in the country for businesses and entrepreneurs who need to build enterprises and create jobs on the liberated lands. Spoke about laying the foundations of a number of facilities in Agdam, the comprehensive restoration and reconstruction measures taken, including the road transport infrastructure of Agdam and road construction projects. President Ilham Aliyev stressed that Azerbaijan launched all this work immediately after the historic victory, showing political will, mobilizing all financial, technical capabilities and human resources, noted that we were doing all this work ourselves, at our own expense, without asking for help and without receiving any loans. Of course, various foreign companies are already actively involved in this work. The number of such companies is growing, said the head of state, and added that all cities will be reconstructed on the basis of a master plan. The master plans of Agdam and Fizuli had already been approved. At present, local and foreign companies are developing master plans for other cities. Touching upon the restoration of historical and religious monuments, President Ilham Aliyev said that repair and restoration work was starting at Agdam Juma Mosque that major overall restoration and construction of eight mosques were envisaged on the liberated lands. Work was on the way in all these areas, and this was another contribution of the Hidar Ali Foundation for the preservation of the national and spiritual values of Azerbaijan. After the war, this is my third visit to Agdam. Every time I come here, my heart hurts because there is no single building in Agdam, only this dilapidated mosque with a damaged roof. It was desecrated by the Armenians, Cows and pigs were kept here. The Armenians insulted not only the Azerbaijani people, but the entire Muslim world, said the head of state and stressed that this is unprecedented barbarism, vandalism, atrocity and indicator of the ugly face of Armenian fascism. The whole world must see this. And added from now on we will invite foreign citizens here. They will come and see what Armenian vandalism means. President Ilham Aliyev also noted that organized bus routes to Akhdam and Shusha allow their residents as well as citizens from other regions to see with their own eyes what kind of misfortune our people have faced. The head of state also touched upon the issue of a future peace treaty. Of course, there should be peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan. It must be signed on the basis of the norms and principles of international law with the conditions of mutual recognition of the territorial integrity of the countries. And I said it, but the Azerbaijani people must never forget this vandalism. Nobody should forget this savagery, said President Ilham Aliyev, adding that ongoing work, including in the field of army building, would further strengthen Azerbaijan and will be a response to Berevanshi's forces, raising their heads in the Armenian once again stress that we are on our land and we will live here forever. Karabakh, Azerbaijan. 
Fahira Seda also led the foundation for the Ardham Regional Central Hospital with 210 beds. President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev got acquainted with the conditions created at the headquarters of the special representation of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the territories liberated from occupation, which are part of the Karabakh Economic Region, visited the house of the Karabakh Khans, the Imarat complex. On February 13, President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev visited al Jabadir region. The head of state and the First Lady visited the monument to national leader Hidar Aliyev in the regional center, got acquainted with the conditions created in the Al-Jabadi Green Agro Park. President Ilham Aliyev inaugurated the reconstructed Al-Jabadi substation for 110, 35, 10 kilowatts. The head of state and the First Lady took part in the opening of a new military camp of the internal troops of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the Afshar Salman Bayli Ashara Afshar Khojavand Highway. President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mihdi Banali were also informed about the work carried out on the Ujjar Zardab Ahjabadi Highway of nationwide significance. Engineering work continues in the liberated territories. In order to ensure safe movement of vehicles, units and subunits of the engineering troops of the Azerbaijan Army are clearing roads from mines and snow, as well as laying new supply roads in the direction of the units stationed in mountains and difficult terrain. In parallel, the mining of some areas is underway. Starting from February 1st to February 14th, more than 374 hectares of territory have been completely cleared of mines and unexploded ordnance. In general, 13,868 hectares of territory were cleared. The main efforts are aimed at demining settlements, sowing plots, roads and infrastructure facilities in the liberated territories. The second reporting and election congress of the Rada of Ukrainian Azerbaijanis took place in Kiev. At the event moderated by Secretary General of the organization Jehun Mamedov, Deputy Chairman of the State Committee for Work with Diaspora, Vagiv Seidbekov, noted that after the glorious victory under the leadership of President Ilham Aliyev, a new stage in the activities of the diaspora has begun. Information was given on the activities of the state committees, houses of Azerbaijan, Karabakh schools, projects implemented in the field of work with youth, the importance of further strengthening unity and solidarity in order to intensify the development of our diaspora and strengthen its activity was emphasized. A memorandum of cooperation was signed between 23 organizations that applied to join the Rada of Ukrainian Azerbaijanis. During the event, the composition of the board was expanded and new members were elected. Azerbaijan expressed concern and solidarity with Georgia in connection with the earthquake that occurred in this country. During the telephone conversation between Prime Minister Elia Sadov and Prime Minister of Georgia Irakli Garibasvili, prospects for expanding cooperation were discussed. During the telephone conversation between the foreign ministers of the two countries, Jehun Bayramov and David Zalkaliani, the readiness of Azerbaijan to help Georgia was underscored. 2,749 infections with novel coronavirus were registered in Azerbaijan. 3,971 people recovered after treatment and were released home. 27 people who earlier tested positive for COVID-19 died. The overall confirmed cases in Azerbaijan have reached 747,918 with 690,059 recoveries and 9,077 deaths. The number of active infections is 48,782. To detect new infection cases over the past day, 8,251 tests and overall 6,398,476 tests have been conducted in Azerbaijan, the task force under the Cabinet of Ministers reported. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.